Until September 8th, you can help support our place, the downtown Victoria Street Shelter, and local restaurants too. Veronica Cooper has more on this year's unique Hungry Hearts fundraiser. This scrumptious macaroni and cheese dish created at 10 Acre Commons will help support Victoria's most vulnerable residents. For the last several years, we've had a Hungry Hearts event. It's our major fundraiser for our place, where we get uh, several amazing chefs in our city uh, competing and people vote on their favorite dish. Uh, we couldn't go ahead with that this year because of COVID, so we've created an event where we can actually give back to the restaurants who have supported us in the past. The event is a hunt for Greater Victoria's favorite mac and cheese. Fifteen restaurants are competing. The whole community is invited to, to try uh, all the mac and cheese dishes and vote on the three favorites. And then we'll have a virtual event where we'll announce the winner, but it's also an opportunity for us to fundraise and spread the word about what we do, the vital role we have in our community. Money raised supports health and wellness for the downtown street shelter. So it's the money that we need in order to uh, have paramedics on site, for us to be able to have medical supplies, for us to be able to extend our hours uh, so that people have a place to go and get the services that they, they absolutely need. Having this opportunity to bring our guests in to participate in our place fundraiser is really important for us to be able to still engage with the community that we're trying to show them what it means to eat local, be sustainable and support another cause. We have our own farm that is 10 acres large. We grow as much produce as we can or we uh, grow products that we know that we can grow in Victoria that are local to North America, that are local to the island and then we incorporate them into our dishes. 10 Acres has created a queso mac and cheese. We basically took a classic style of queso dip and mixed it with our noodles. It has poblanos from our farm. It has jalapenos from our farm. It features local pancetta. So we incorporate ingredients that we are growing right now. They're seasonal, that are fun, that are flavors, that are different than just a a classic mac and cheese, but we still kept that really strong, stringy cheese flavor to it. So the contest is until September 8th, and then on September 12th, we're going to have a, a live streamed event where we'll announce the winner of uh, the Hungry Hearts competition, uh, the favorite mac and cheese dish in uh, Greater Victoria. We'll also be able to uh, have a live band uh, that will be live streamed, headlined by the uh, touring keyboardist of Jan Arden's band. Uh, we'll have a Q&A session with our new CEO. We'll have some other surprises and a really big auction that we're asking people to jump in on and participate and get themselves some really cool items. Find the list of restaurants at ourplacesociety.com. The neatest part about all of this is the creativity. Uh, we're seeing the menus from, from quite a few of these restaurants. Queso and mac up. It is pretty incredible what you can do with mac and cheese. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.